Alex here with a high conflict child custody video on leaving the kids with another person. This is something that comes up a lot. I'm surprised I haven't done a video on it yet. A lot of times somebody will complain that their ex has a certain amount of custody uh, or a visitation with the children and they only exercise 10%, 20%, 50%, 80%, uh, whatever. The, the point is they're not exercising all that custody, uh, all that visitation with their, their kids. They're leaving their kids with a boyfriend or a girlfriend, a wife or a husband, grandma, grandpa, sometimes with a sitter, sometimes in daycare. And I just wanted to do a quick video because there isn't a whole lot to talk about here, but the court, I hate to use the phrase, doesn't care because it's not a question of caring. What I'm starting to see is a lot of case law, at least in Nevada, that specifically says that the judges can't modify custody or visitation based on the fact that a parent isn't spending the time with their kids. This might be like news to a lot of people. And it is kind of a new thing. I mean, it hasn't really been, it's not really something that's been in the case law for decades. I, I wish I could give an exact number of years. I don't really feel like it's very new either. I, I don't really feel like it's something that started in the last eight or nine years. But anyway, from what I've read in Nevada, if a parent is not spending time with their kids, the district judge in their child custody case cannot use that against them as long as they put the kids with somebody responsible that's watching them. You know, they can't leave their kids home. Okay, if their kids are like six years old, they can't leave their kids home alone while they go to work. That's a child custody issue. That's neglect. They can't do that. But if they leave their kids with with uh, mom, which would be the child's grandmother, or with their wife or something, and it's half the time or it's eighty percent of the time, it doesn't matter. There's nothing you can do about that. Um, I really try to avoid going into policy arguments when I do these videos because some people are just gonna disagree and make the video about disagreeing with my opinion as to why the law is there. I'm probably going to apply that principle with this video. I think I'm just going to stop the video right here and just basically I've covered the law in Nevada at least. It's probably the same in many other states. In fact, that part that I mentioned that we have came from like, I think it was Idaho or Iowa, some state with an I. Nevada pulled it from another state. So there's other states that are doing this too that are saying, stop modifying custody just because dad's at work. You know, dad's at work and he's leaving the kids with a sitter leave his custody alone. I've seen decisions reverse. I've seen a judge say, I'm going to give mom primary custody. She's a stay-at-home mom. Dad's at work. He's leaving the kids with a sitter. The kids can stay with her. Custody is modified. And then dad files an appeal. The Supreme Court of Nevada reverses, sends it back, says give him his custody back. He left the kids with a sitter that's responsible. doesn't matter that he's not there. I'm not going to end the video there. I think that this is a good thing. I'm not going to go into why because it's just going to be a rat's nest of discussion. But I think that this is the right way for the courts to go. I'm happy that they've done this. Um, and that's it. That's basically it. If, I mean, if people really want to talk about it, the comments are open. I might pipe in. I might just not even reply if it just turns. I know that this is an issue that makes people angry. And it's not just moms. It's not just stay-at-home moms. There's also fathers who are stay-at-home fathers, or they're retired, or they're on disability. And they'll send me emails about this. And they'll say that, hey, I want the kids anytime my ex goes to work. And that kind of, I kind of go into that a little bit on the video on uh, right of first refusal. So anyway, I'm going to end the video. And again, if you have any uh, comments, go ahead and post them below. And uh, maybe we can talk about it. But this is what the law is in Nevada. So uh, with that, I'll see you guys next time.